Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to look at the differentiator. Remember, in the previous two videos, we looked at an integrator circuit. Here we have a differentiator circuit. In other words, we're trying to find the circuit where the output voltage is the derivative of the input voltage. And this is how we can do that, by placing the capacitor on the input voltage, and we still have the feedback resistor feeding back from the output voltage down here to the negative input of the operational amplifier. Again, what we can see here is that there's no current going from here to here, and there's basically zero voltage from there to there. That means that I1 was therefore equal to I2. And what we can say here is that if we assume that this is higher potential than this, that this is at zero potential, so the voltage here is at zero volts, we can then say that the current actually flows in the opposite direction, and therefore we can say that I2 is equal to the negative of V output divided by the feedback resistor. On the input current, we can say that I sub 1 is equal to the capacitance times the rate of change with respect to time of the input voltage. And of course, we can then set those two equal to each other. We can then say that the capacitance times the input voltage with respect to time is equal to the negative of the output voltage over the feedback resistor. And we're just going to write it as R, because we know that R is indeed here the feedback resistor. Now when we solve that equation for V sub O, we can say that V sub O is equal to bringing this across, that becomes a minus RC times dVi dt. All we did is wrote the R over on this side and bring the negative sign across and turn the equation around and here we can see that the output voltage which is indeed a function of time is equal to minus the time constant r times c times the derivative with respect to time of the input voltage and of course that's also a function of time and there you can see that in this particular case the output voltage is simply the deriv derivative or it's proportional to the derivative of the input voltage of course it depends on the time constant Again, if R and C are large quantities, then of course, that's a large time constant, takes a long time for the capacitor to charge. And that's how we build a differentiator circuit. 